Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the reading for Libra for the first half of August 2021. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, this is for Libra for the first half of August 2021. This is in combination with a um, love reading because last month, you know, I forgot to do the uh, signs in love. So I'm just going to do a little combo here. <clears throat> going to go ahead and get started with the Gilded Reverie uh, Lenormand. Let's see what comes out for Libra. And this is for the first half of August 2021. One card, please. There it is. Nope, that's two. Let me get one card for Libra. Final card. There it is. All right. So the first that came out is the sun. Check it out. 31 reduces down to number 4. Those numbers could resonate. 31 or 4. Right? Um, we have the sun here and the ace of pentacles also. So this is telling me that somebody is wanting to start something uh, or somebody has been enlightened to something in regards to a new start. A new start and some sort of stability or something like that. I'll stick this right here for now. And then we have the 16 card, the star. Wow. The sun and the star. And to my mind just came the sun, the moon, and the stars. I don't know why that might resonate with somebody out there, but we have the six of cups here, and somebody from the past may be coming back. Now, 16 does reduce down to the number seven, which is spirit's number. So it's telling me that whatever's going on here is divinely guided, okay, with somebody from the past, some healing and some enlightenment. We also have the 40 card, all right? Um, now, this card is uh, reduces down to four, okay? And it's kind of like... Um, think of what what do you think of when you think of fours when I think of fours I think of walls you know four walls or north south east and west you know direction uh, but somebody is wearing a mask in regards to that right um, try, because they want to feel protected maybe within these walls right they don't want to leave where they're at they're wearing a mask somebody here is afraid this could be you or your person but somebody here is afraid because they see the light, they want to heal this, but they just don't know how. <laughs> same old story, same old song and dance, <laughs> my friends, right? So let's go ahead and, you know, we're going to pull five cards here, okay? We're going to pull five cards. We're going to get one energy, one card for your energy and a second card for your person's energy. Now, this could be vice versa, okay? So we got for you the Three of Cups. You are wanting to collaborate, work with others, and have some sort of celebration over this. You're feeling celebratory, right? You're feeling good, right? That's your energy. I don't think your energy is third-party situation. I think your energy is more like, you know, you celebration. You know, party maybe, yeah, but not third-party. Now, your person's energy is Page of Flamingos. They're just watching you. So this person wearing the mask, that's, the per that's your person. They're watching you because they see you're being celebrated. So what is the potential of this situation? What is the potential of this situation? The Eight of Cups. The potential is that somebody's walking away. You know, somebody's just walking away. They don't want to deal with these secrets, these illusions, whatever is going on here. They're walking away.
the obstacle here is that somebody's definitely not using their intuition, not using the sacred knowledge that was given to them, or maybe they don't know how. Maybe they don't know how to do it, right? And it could be on both of these people's part is what I'm, you know, what's kind of weird is both of these people aren't using their intuition. So both of these people are, I think they're still in healing mode for both of them, right? Not just for one, but for both, because something is not being seen here. Something is not being followed. We have the five of pentacles. And the person who's crying about whoever's walking away is this page of flamingos is very upset that somebody's walking away. Mourning over the loss of this. Crying. You know, the, fi the five of pentacles is like loss. So somebody is feeling a loss, and it could be financially, too. This person could be watching somebody while they dwell in their penniless state because somebody walked away. And it could be because they didn't use their intuition. And they're watching somebody that's celebrated, and that's you. So I don't think it's both of them that's, that didn't follow their intuition. It's one of them. And that person is going to be upset because somebody's taken off. They're just, you know, they're like, no, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and go this way because uh, I don't know what the heck you want, basically. Right? This person is wearing a mask, not expressing. They're feeling safe where they are because they don't have to say whatever they feel. They have been enlightened to something. They do want to heal something, but they, there's something that's holding them back. And it could, be, it could just be fear. What's holding them back is this tower moment. Something, if they are to come clean or say something, they fear a tower moment. And you know what? They're right. They're absolutely right. So this is why, you know, this situation is like this. This is why there's so much fear here. But you know what? If you don't conquer those fears, you know, you'll never learn and you'll never progress. I don't think this is you, but I, this is your person in case there's a cross watcher watching. So, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this situation. I mean, you know, you seem all right. Your person does. <laughs> You know, we got two cards out for you. Not very many, but it's okay. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, yeah, this person is just watching. They don't use their intuition. and They're sad, you know, and there's some, this person is wearing a mask. You know, they may have walked away from you because of secrets or they may have gotten nervous about something because you're celebrated. But pay attention to the red flags because something here is just not right. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And yes, they may be, right? Or this person's may be, but they get scared of romantic feelings, of real feelings, and they run from it, I think, too. So, yeah. Very, very interesting, right? <clears throat> Let's see what else I see here. Because this is very short. This is like... But, I mean, you know... Well, you know what? Since you got, like very little romance angels cards let's see if anything flies out for you if it doesn't then you know i guess that's the message i don't want to keep pulling cards because then it gets repetitive and it's over and over again and like i mean i've been able to watch a few readings uh a little bit ago and it's like they're saying the same thing over and over okay i heard that the first time anything new yeah there's that's it that's all spirit has um so yeah that's all I have for you guys, uh, for Libra. This is what's going on. You seem to be doing all right. You seem to be chilling in your, in your power. But your person, whoever this person is, is just uh, miserable. <laughs> so if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I will talk to you guys next time.